Hi, I'm Scott. Aiden. Leo. Lindsay. Animesh. Alec. Brooke. Sky. Preston. Michael. Rodney. Sherry. Colin. Luke. Nico. Matia. Mia. Island. Clara. It's your boy John Barron. Thanks for tuning in, and you're watching. Great job. Great job. Great job. What's up, Novi? Welcome back to another edition of the Cat's Eye News. It's your boy, John Barron. And I'm Alec. Let's get started with our announcements. First, we have an announcement from Culture Club. The club will be meeting in room 182 this Tuesday, February 14th, and they will be discussing Sudan. If you wish to join them, contact laura.schnerstein at novik12.org. Tomorrow, the Novi High School Student Council will be hosting a charity ice skating event at Novi Ice Arena from 8.30 to 10 o'clock at night. Entry fee is $10 and skate rental is $5, so make sure you're there. Our next announcement comes from Mrs. Smith. Let's go to Cat's Eyes News journalist Scott for more. Hey Leo, are you interested in economics? Yeah. Do you want to have an opportunity to win scholarship money? Yeah. Then make sure you stop by room 227 and talk to Mrs. Smith about the National Economics Challenge. It's a great way to learn more about this subject and have an opportunity to win scholarship money. Thanks, Scott. Now we'll head over to one of our new Cat's Eye News journalists, Caden, to hear all about this month's new media releases in a program we are calling Up and Coming. What's going on, Novi? Welcome to Up and Coming. This is basically just me updating you all on all things coming out that has to do with pop culture. And we're just going to start with like kind of the first half of the month. Movies, games, and shows. I'm going to keep you all updated here. And this is what we have coming from the 1st to the 18th. Movies. We have the, to start off, we have the Titanic movie. 25th anniversary. It's going to be re-released in theaters. I'm not sure how a lot of people feel about it, but I know it's one of the highest grossing movies. It comes out today, so if you want to go check that out and you're interested in seeing it in a theatrical release, I suggest it. And Man and the Wasp, we have a Marvel movie coming up once again. I know it's been a bit of a downhill slope, but I feel like there's a lot of hope for this one. That comes out on February 17th. Check it out. Games, we have a new Harry Potter game. It's about time. Hogwarts Legacy comes out today. So go ahead and check it out, check reviews, check trailers. I'm sure it'll be really interesting to you all. I don't know too much about Wild Hearts, but I've seen trailers and it looks really good. Show-wise, we have The Flash Season 9 coming out February 8th. And actually, well, it's already out. Go ahead and check it out on the CW. It's free. Um, I know it's been on downhill slope, but that's okay. Just keep, keep, you at, it. Just keep at it. You, Season 4, it already came out. It's on Netflix. I know it's very, very popular. So if you're interested in it, I know, well, you're probably interested in it, go ahead and check it out on Netflix. And Star Trek Picard. I've never been much of a fan, but I know it's a very, very popular franchise. And I know there's some really big fans of it. So if you like Star Trek, check it out on February 16th. We'll catch you later, Nova. Now let's get to the sports. Novi ski teams were in action this past Wednesday, February 8th at the Divisionals meet. Despite none of the teams qualifying, Camber Smith placed in the top 10 of the giant slalom race and qualified individually. Great job, Wildcats. Novi Palm will compete this Sunday, February 12th, in the Mid-American Palm State Championship at Eastern Michigan University. Good luck, girls. Novi boys basketball came up short against Canton last Tuesday and is looking to rebound with a home game against Howell tonight at 7 p.m. We hope to see you there to support your boys. Girls basketball had a game this past Tuesday against Canton. For more, here's Cat's Eye News journalist Rodney. Hey Wildcats, on Tuesday your girls played Canton. Let's go see how it went. I think we're, we have good odds against Canton tonight. Um, it's going to be a good game. We played a solid game against them last time, came up short. They got one key player that we're going to have to, um, you know, make sure we play in good defense on her, watching her. Um, but other than that, we're very evenly matched, so I think it'll be a solid game for us. It was a well-competed game, and we hung in there with them, but it was an unfortunate loss. We definitely improved. Uh, we ended up losing by 15 the first game, and this game really lost by four. So we're, we're, so, we're really close to winning. Um, we've been improving a lot the past few weeks, and hopefully we can beat Howell on Friday. The girls are looking to rebound tonight with a game at Howell. Good luck, girls. Novi Figure Skating has also been in action. Here's Cat's Eye journalist Mia with more. Hey Novi, on February 4th, figure skating had their last competition. A team took 5th, B team took 3rd, and C team took 5th. 
It was also senior night, but two of our seniors missed the competition because they were competing in the USA Olympics. Let's go see how they did. Um, we went to Austria and France. So we competed at like um, domestic competitions and we had to get a certain score to be a part of Team USA and then US Figure Skating picked um, the competitions that we would go to and we got France and Austria. Um, I think for me at least, I just like one of my family friends was doing it and I was young and I wanted to do the same thing she was doing and I guess I kind of stuck with it. Yeah. Everyone in my family played hockey, so I was just always at the rink. Um, I mean, it was kind of sad missing like senior night just because I've been on the team since freshman year. But I mean, we we're still getting to like travel around the world, so that was a cool experience. So like, wasn't too sad about it. Yeah, like <laughs> getting to travel is really mm -hmm. a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Not going to any other countries. We have Best competition yeah. is in Illinois <laughs> for nationals. <Yeah. laughs> okay. well, we uh. we practice four days a week, um, like together as a team. But then we also go in like at five a.m. a bunch of mornings a week, and we all practice together. Yeah, we all practice like by ourselves and mm -hmm. then together as a whole, just to make sure we're prepared. Oh, well, we don't really actually get to pick. Our coaches mm. pick. Yeah. Um, but we have two programs, and, like, the coaches just, like, decide, like, what themes we're going to do. Then they choreograph it. Yeah. We just perform we just it. do what they tell us to do. <laughs> Best of luck, girls. Bowling was also in action as well. Last Saturday, they played in the Divine Child Tournament and placed 8th out of 20 teams. Cam Barrett got awards for the second highest game and second highest series as well. Great job, Cam. They were also in action on Monday and Tuesday with a loss to Plymouth but a victory against Northville, resulting in them winning the Battle of the Pin. Great job. Swim was also in action last night and won against Howell 137 to 49. Novi was able to come first in every event. Great job, Wildcats. Novi's wrestling team unfortunately came short in their team districts last night, but we wish them luck in their individual tournament this Saturday. Our hockey team has also been in action. Here's an update on them. So this game is Friday, we're playing Salem, so uh, we decided to come to gym, see how good we are at hockey. Hardowski, come to the game this Friday and Saturday at home. Be there. Our unified basketball team will also be having a tournament on Monday Legacy Center at 1 p.m. We wish them the best of luck. That's it for sports, and that's it for this broadcast. Thank you all for watching. Once again, it's your boy John Barron. And I'm Alec. We'll catch you next time, Novi.